Hello witchy ones and welcome back to my channel. My name is Inky Rose and on today's episode we're going to be doing a massive altar and room tour. Stay tuned. So this is where it all starts. Um, I'm going to be showing you my room first before showing you my altar. Um, but we'll just get started. Okay, so this bag here I got. It's from the band called Imminence. They're a Swedish uh, metalcore band that I really like. And I bought a t-shirt as well along with that. So I'm thinking about putting like all my tarot stuff in there. If I'm going to someone's house and they want me to give them a tarot reading, I can do that and put it in that bag right there. Okay, so here we are. The moon phase thing that I got was actually from um, an online shop called Wish, and they have a lot of cheap stuff. And it's just oh, I just love this thing so much. It also came in. It also apparently came in um, black as well. So, but I like the. I think the white looks a lot better <laughs> myself. And this thing over here, this dream catcher, I got a few years ago when I was living in the Blue Mountains. So it's always a nice reminder of how lovely things are there and nature-wise and my coven back there. So yeah, that's that part. And we'll walk along. It's a bit messy there. Excuse the mess. <laughs> um, this is the start of my big bookshelf, as you can see. So the first two, this is all my witch, this is my witchy library, but these two books here um, are to do with writing. I'm a poet and a writer, so I love to learn more about creative writing and get lots of exercises for inspiration. Um, just move that away. <laughs> um, so yeah, this this the Shirescapes Tarot I bought when I was in the Blue Mountains, and I thought it would be a really good deck, but for some reason I just didn't really click with it. Um, so I'm probably going to put it up for sale or give it away to someone who'd probably like it more than I do. Um, but yeah, I've given it a go. I don't really connect with the imagery that much, so yeah. Um, just more witchy books, which... This one's actually really interesting, um, The Real Witch's Coven. I'm actually writing... I was For a while I was writing a fantasy novel about a, a coven of witches, and I wanted to make sure I was getting all the information right. So I um, got that book and read it and highlighted things and stuff like that, and I thought, yeah, this is going to be really helpful for my creative writing if I need to go back and find out more about a coven. Um, you've seen some of these books before in my previous um, videos, uh, Living Wicca and Wicca Right There by Scott Cunningham, great books. How to Become a Witch, this is the first book I ever bought when I was starting my practice, highly recommend that. I've told you about that one. Magic of the Iron Pentacle, I actually did the course for that with the writers there. Um, it was an absolutely fantastic course, um, highly recommend it. Uh, so Magic of the Iron Pentacle, um, yeah. And then I have Anne Frank. Uh, I know that's not really witchy, but I th I actually started journaling because of her. Um, I started reading her diary about halfway through. I've still got to get back to it. I'm not a big reader, to be honest. I find it a bit hard to concentrate sometimes, so I'm usually trying to go to, over to um, audio books instead. Um, so that will help help me listen more and, you know, take it all in. To Light of Sacred Flame, I bought this off the cuff. I thought it would be a really good book. I don't connect with it that well, um, to be honest. Uh, yeah. It's 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 all right, but it's not my kind of thing. This I actually found, and I found the newer version in my li in the library um, at the Blue Mountains I used to, where I used to go, and I tried to find it online, and it was like fifty bucks <laughs> for the for the whole book. But then I went into an op shop, and I found the exact same thing, just an older version of it, and it's just fantastic. Anything you want to know about witchcraft, it's right there. Uh, the Witch's Book of Self-Care, I've still got to look into that. I bought that um, at the Mind Body Spirit Festival a few months ago, actually. I've still got to look into that, and I'm really looking forward to diving into that. The Real Witch's Book of Spells and Rituals, that's a great book, too, for beginners. Um, I haven't read it in ages. I want to get back to it. Um, the Daily Guidance of your, for Your Angels, I had mentioned that before in a previous video. Yeah, so that was that. And then rituals. This is for beginners. This is good. So it just gives you little ideas here and there about how you can add rituals to your practice. And now we come to the decks. <laughs> um, yeah, a lot of these decks I, I really use now. So I'm thinking about selling them, some of them. And yeah. 
but the first one I'll show you, this is the first ever deck I ever bought, this is before I got into tarot, it's Doreen Virtue's Messengers from Your Angels, absolutely beautiful deck, I love looking at it, I love working with angel energies, yeah, so um, there's that, and there's more angels, Doreen Virtue, angel book, angel oracle cards, earth magic oracle cards are absolutely beautiful, I love them, they're so, just, they're just so beautiful. Um, ask an angel. As you know before, I actually I work a lot with angel en energies, so I, I've used that this deck quite a bit. It's very beautiful. The artwork's amazing. Then we come to the um, angel Doreen Virtue um, tarot deck. That was the first tarot deck I ever bought, so I was very curious about it, and yeah, I just went with it. And then we've got magical spell cards. I really want to start working with these because give me hints on how I can work with my spellcraft and stuff like that. Uh, Oracle of the Mermaids I really use, I'm going to sell that one. Um, Wildwood Tarot, that was absolutely beautiful deck. Uh, the Art of Love Tarot, again I haven't used it that much and the same with the Dreams of Guy, I'm going to sell both of those because I just rarely use them and I want someone you know, to find a good home and um, for them and they'll be used lovingly. Uh, Tarot Illuminati, this is an actual deck I use quite a bit, um, it's, it's computer generated but it's absolutely beautiful. I also forgot to mention with these books up here, there's a second part that comes up here. Um, that's just a toiletries bag there I just fitted <laughs> and this is my piggy bank. Uh, I haven't really used it that much but the ones books in here are the Encyclopedia of Crystals. This was my this one in here. You can just see it was my first book of mirrors. I don't think I'll show anyone that, um, especially on YouTube, because it's very personal. Um, and then we have the Asylum for Wayward Victorian Girls by Emily Autumn. I, I'm a massive fan of Emily Autumn. She's such an amazing artist. If you haven't heard of her, check her out. She's so good. And then we've got Crystal Bliss. Um, just more information about crystals, which is a great book. And on to this part here. Um, yeah, it's just uh, random journals and Milk and Honey, which is a beautiful poetry book. I love it so much. And then we're on to mixed things here, mostly tarot stuff. Um, that This book here goes along with this deck here, so it's good to have both of them to rely on both. Um, so yeah, as you can see, tarot, tarot, writing, more tarot stuff. And these are melts I bought from Dusk. I haven't burnt them yet because they're so strong and oh, because I'm in a, um, a small area at the moment, um, I can't really um, use them at the moment. So I might give them away to someone who might use them a lot better than what I can. This is more journal space. Um, but there's a Bible there. Um, this is more um, CDs. I'll just zoom in a bit more so you can see. A lot of metal stuff going on and then we have more journals up here so yeah that's that's the room that's the basic room to it oh, and there's more stuff here as well this my sister actually got this for me for Christmas and you just put little tea lights in it it's really pretty I'm burning a candle at the moment called Tangler from the shop dusk which I've talked about in previous videos as well and yeah so on to the altar Okay guys, so here is my altar, as you can see it's very pretty, uh, I'll start with the things on the side first, so in this box is my tarot cards which are very dear to me, I use them a lot, I use them in my craft, I use them for spellcraft, yeah they mean a lot, it's, as I said before in previous videos I am a divination witch, this is the main thing I focus on. Okay so we've got some more crystals here. So this is um, Rose Quartz, I got this ages ago, but it's really beautiful. Um, this one, and, and then we've got Clear Quartz, this is pretty too, I love Clear Quartz. Opalite, let's show you all these crystals. <laughs> uh, Blue Lace Agate, this, I got this piece at the Mind Body Spirit Festival and I absolutely fell in love with it, it's just so pretty. And then we've got Smoky Quartz. So yeah, Smoky Quartz, which is really nice. And then on the side I have an F, oh, my it's gone funny. Um, I have an affirmation saying I'm a loving, joyful person, which is I try to be. <laughs> and then on the side here we have a huge collection of images related to the deities I follow, stuff like that. I think this is really important, this one. You must tell yourself no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I'm going to make it. 
And I think that's really important for me, especially because I deal with anxiety. That's something I have to try and remember, that I can be in control of my anxiety. And then we've got Hecate. That's Hecate right there. She's so beautiful. Um, so this is the 13 goals of a Wicca. Um, you can look that up. It's, it's a bit small. The type is a bit small, but you can look it up later. Um, this is from the Dalai Lama. Happiness is not something ready-made. It's something that comes from your own actions, which is so true. And then I have here the will of the year. So currently, the next Sabbath we're going to have is a Malk. I hope I can pronounce that correctly. And there's Isis. I work with Isis quite a bit in my practice. I talk to her. I actually have an Isis Oracle deck, which I should have shown you before. But yeah, um, yeah, I work with her quite a bit. I love her energy. She's such a powerful, powerful deity to work with. And then over here, this is my rosary. I, I'm not Catholic, but I do work with Mother Mary, and I pray to Mother Mary quite a bit. So I actually have my rosary here. I bought this when I was in the Blue Mountains for like 10 bucks, so I thought, yeah, why not? And it's so pretty. I just love the beads and everything. It just really, really works. And then we have um, over here, this is a, I got this in the Blue Mountains too, the fluorite skull there. I just thought it was pretty cool. And then we have um, the uh, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil sort of thing. I got that um, near the Blue Mountains and I thought, yes, that'd be perfect for my altar. Um, there's an angel there reminding me of my angels, that my angels are constantly around me, that I can rely on them and they'll help me out when I feel anxious. This is actually supposed to be a statue of a goddess, but I didn't really, I thought it was going to be bigger, but it didn't really turn out that big, but I really like it. It's just really simple. I'll zoom in there for a moment. <laughs> and then there's, um, I bought this uh, Isis statue online on 13 moons. So yeah, that was that's really um, nice as well. And th this is my daily affirmation, um, my daily affirmations um, calendar. So you rip uh, you rip it off a day, and it gives you an affirmation to work with, which I think is great. Uh, more crystals. So amethyst, I really love amethyst. I got that for about ten bucks. That was awesome. Uh, I got a, a jade Buddha. My sister's fiance gave me that, and I still use that. <laughs> Um, my sister actually bought this for me for Christmas, I think it was. It's actually a fluorite sphere and it ho holds in the person's hands. So yeah, and then I got this huge, um, this huge uh, spreadsheet or rug or whatever you want to call it um, from 13 Moons and I absolutely love it. I'm sorry my, my camera's going out of focus but you can see that there. And then there's my salt lamp. So yeah, that's that. I really like it. I recently put a new bulb in it because I, I use it so much. I just love the ambience it gives. And yeah, so that's that. So I'll see you guys later and I hope you enjoyed the altar and um, room tour. So bye!